And as I stared into the flames, I had a light bulb moment, an epiphany. During our last overnight adventure, we attempted to stay warm in a space blanket cabin. It didn't go as well as hoped. Sure, a couple of degrees warmer is better than nothing, but that wasn't what we were aiming for. Now we haven't got a hot temp, but what we do have is space blankets and we have a few of them. So space blanket, hot tent, let's go. So we are going to need to acquire some more bamboo, but we did store this batch of bamboo from a previous episode, waste not, want not. So here's the issue, we don't want to make the shelter too big because that will make it harder to heat. And at the same time, we don't want to make it too small because that would create a fire hazard. So we do have to make it just right. cleaning up this bamboo what we're going to do is we're going to take advantage of where it branches out and slot our other bamboo poles in between here job should be good So essentially now, we're gonna use the remainder of our bamboo to just reinforce this frame. So we have our frame complete, now we just need to apply our space blankets, but before that, coffee. It's going to be a bit of a cold one tonight too. Highs of 9 degrees, lows of 0 degrees. But getting a cold isn't an option, nope, not having it. I got a cold on the last one, got sick, which explains my absence from last weekend. So today, it's all about staying warm. And I know zero degrees is just nothing to some of our subs. Shh, brave than I. So as we apply these space blankets, what we want to do is make sure we leave a gap at the top to act as our chimney. So that's where all the smoke is going to flow out of. And same process as the last video, we're just going to roll up some leaves stick it in our blanket twist it and tie it off and now we have a tie off point
Done. Okay, so our shelter is complete. We got our frame, our teepee style frame, set up using bamboo poles, and then we use cordage, tie out points, and some duct tape to apply our space blankets. And as you can see down there, I've left the bottom section open intentionally to use as a door and to allow the airflow to enter. Fire there, roll mat here. Should be more than enough room. So seeing as we've been using duct tape quite a bit today, and in the last overnight, I figure we might as well use it to start our fire this evening. So we're just gonna unstick this tape here. I'm gonna tear it into little strips. Make a little ball out of it. And set it on fire. So we have brought a thermometer with us tonight so we can keep tabs on what the temperature is and what it's going to be. It's currently... So, there's only room for it to drop. So I let the fire burn down to coals and uh, put the jacket potato on top because be, to be honest, I'm glad I've let it burn down to coals and I've stepped out at one point. It was up to 32 degrees Celsius and uh, sweat, sweat was happening. We're gonna manage that fire and we're gonna keep it small because we're going from one extreme to another. Well, that potato had to go back on the fire for another half an hour, but we got there in the end. Right now it's comfortable in here, but it feels good. For all, it, it, it feels like the longest time since I've been able to be outside in just a t-shirt. And the current temperature in here is about 25 degrees Celsius. So if I have to wake up every hour or so to maintain this fire, I'm okay with that. For right now, I'm gonna sit back, enjoy the fire, 
enjoy the peace and I'll see you guys in the morning. nothing quite like waking up next to a campfire, the smell of it, the warmth of it, the sound of the birds and coffee of course. Noisy. So how did our space blanket hot tent perform? It went well beyond my expectations. But considering it was sub-zero throughout the night, I mean it got real cold out here. In there it never went below 15 degrees Celsius. And that was when the fire was burning out. Coals still emanating that heat so when we restock that fire back up the whole time it was always above 20 degrees celsius although i am glad we didn't cover that front bottom section because if we did we would have just cooked so for the sake of a few bamboo poles and five pound six pounds on space blankets i saved myself 150 pounds and made a hot tent good day and the thing is ultimately you're only limited by your imagination about what you can create this is standard though you have to keep in mind about the the size of the tent regarding heat retention heat loss also fire safety but someone a lot more creative than me can go out and do something a lot better than this so I'm gonna finish this coffee and uh, we're about ready to strike camp goes down so much quicker than it goes up.